Let's get back to the mystery van. Well, there's the password. Too bad, too bad I can't save my progress, because this is not the 3DO version. Uh, because he keeps twisting his neck, that's why he keeps barfing. Fix her up or my tail. Oh, well, I mean, keep in mind, Flame, we are also inherently not a very big server. Like HFC or our little FC server. That's it. That's a spot. I'm the total number I right do that. Like on the FC or on the uh, HFC server, there's only about 400 people compared to the top ranking ones that have thousands upon thousands of serv of people. Sweet, like candy. it's very small. Ooh, yeah. But yeah, I could also easily host it through another external site. It's just more of a pain in the ass. Because then I can't use my legitimate copies that are reliable in quality. I have to use third-party bullshit. And honestly, those get more annoying to me. Yes, Mendez. Yeah. I mean, I've been doing this for a couple of months now, Flame, on our server with no issues. So unless you, Spar, Tom, or someone else is going to rat me out to Discord directly. So about the remote in this level, there's sometimes going to be two. Meaning one for the boss and one for the next world. Because... Or stage. Probably the world, because they can't just open up the first world of the next one without having you defeat the boss. Okay, and I, that's what I was trying to do earlier. I just bl blew up those blocks by whipping the air. Hungry must find. Also, I know for a fact a much more popular, much larger community than us has movie nights every week. Eh? Yeah. Uh... Did this just... yeah, it just warped me back. Great. <laughs> Great. Well, Don't think too much about it, just accept it. Well, I'm just gonna assume that's the only thing that it could do, because otherwise I would've been trapped. Unless... Yeah, I would've been trapped. So, that makes sense. You never knocked me down! Best part about the free shot is that that's you can step on the blocks of ice that you create. No, not BSC. Jack Patillo. Oh. You can also tail whip power ups too, uh, to get extra health as well. He won't give you the power up himself. But still, something nice to know. He's an achievement hunter, for Mendez. I'm assuming he's new to achievement hunter. No, Jack's one of the originators. Oh, 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 oh right. Uh, the uh, the other Jack, right? No. Yeah, Jack Patilla, the big bearded dude. Yeah, with the glasses. Got it. Hi, Ray. Hi, yeah. Ray. Is my mic yet again, uh, resetting? No, we hear you. Okay. Need it, need it, need it, need it. No, anyway. it's actually my, Jack from MySpace, Minda. Kill time!
Oh, there's multiple coffins down here. You're obviously blocking something. Uh, just curious, which version are you playing? The PS1, PS1. version. On the uh, PS3. I have the PC version uh, from Yoji.com. Huh, there's a PS... there's a PC version. Yes. I didn't know that there was a PC version of Gex. And it's, uh, and it's on GOG. Hmm? Oh, get, oh, it's on Google Games. Yeah. Apparently Microsoft uh, did the original PC port, I think. Oh. Huh. Did a lot or of it had, it had, Or rather, the, uh, the installer has the st stuff in it that says it's uh, the port to, was done by Microsoft, or published by Microsoft, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's on Windows. Hmm. Did it let you save your data? Snake nope. just bought this nope. for this stream. It doesn't. It's the same as the PS1 version. Oh my gosh. It does work. Uh, I can actually just, just uh, copy the files over to my retro PC and install uh, and just play it on that. But then again, why why would anyone want to bother porting the code for quite possibly one of the poorly marketed consoles in the 90s, the 3DO? I know nothing about the 3DO's code other than. No one wanted to buy 3DO unless they had 700 bucks to piss away. Yep, and that's also why, why uh, Square, uh, Square Enix uh, and Crystal Dynamics made uh, ports to the PS1 and, uh, and uh, others. Oh, uh, yeah. Because no one was buying a 3DO. They needed to make some money somehow off of the game. Yeah, there are and a lot And it wasn't going to be through the 3DO. Yeah, there were a lot of 3DO games like that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, remember, no pre-marital gigs. Already got that joke made once. Why do you people own Gex at all? Why didn't my dad even own Gex at all? Why did he even own a 3DO? Oh wait, because he like- My first oh, game was What Gex, the uh, fuck? What? What uh, just happened? What? You clipped through the- Was this you supposed to happen? The... No, I don't think so. Thank okay, uh, matrix. never mind. I guess that was supposed to happen. Is that- How is, that, is anyone supposed to find out that, that that one part you can fall through? And- That one bug right over top of it? That is- that is such a bullshit secret. Okay, I'ma clip that, shit. That is so Jump! bullshit. Good times of your life. Okay, there's the remote for the other world. As you can see, they're all themed. My first uh, Gex game is actually uh, the second game for, uh, for the PS1. Nah, the one that I guess is supposedly the good one. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm totally going to get that power-up. Bullshit. Ha. Ow. The comedy in the second game especially has not aged well at all. I mean, I think the comedy from all these Gex games hasn't aged well, because they're all just pop culture references. Yep. And some of them are, uh, sort of, well, some are a bit transphobic or racist, as far as I know. Hmm. Yeah. That's cold. That's ice cold. Soylent Green is good. I still need or, to... uh, or, or the jokes are just straight up disgusting. Hey, I need to climb the wall. There we go. Honestly, the PC port of this is not that bad. 
it's basically just a one-to-one -one uh, port to piece one version. That's good. This would be great for my collection. Runs at 60 frames per second, and well, it's uh, it's locked to 640 by 480. But for a game like this, it doesn't really matter, especially uh, in, back in the day with the CRTs, where uh, where CRTs actually just well, CRTs just display any resolution really sharp. Bingo. So it's running at 640 by 480. Doesn't really matter for a game like this. Yeah, uh, try this. The 3DO version of this game, the original one, ran at 30 frames per second. Ouch! Yeah. Yeah. That's your next-gen console that supposedly is not a baby's toy. Hey, Mendez. Well, Gex might be something you m either m might want to play or might not. I think I have Gex installed on this. Let me see. Nope, I don't. I can install it though. Real quick. Like, it's not a big, that big of a game. Barf. Kill your TV, man. Install. Onto the hard drive. Yeah. Kill your guy, then kill your TV. Okay. On to the first boss. Something I actually like with uh, the graphics card I have now is that uh, since the... Uh, in Art, uh, the 2000 series and so on with the NVIDIA GPUs, I can actually just enable the uh, hardware based integer scaling, which is which is perfect for old games like Gex. Well, this is Spin and Puke. She she looks pretty at first, but you might think otherwise after a couple of hits. And also, the scrolling in this level is insane. It's absurd. And oh boy, that puking is loud. Well, that was easy. There is no substitute. Pretty sure it had controller support back in the day too. But something to keep in mind with the uh, old uh, PC ports and controller support is uh, the fact that uh, huh? This the actually fact that gives, the, uh, this actually gives you a password when you defeat the boss. I didn't know about that. Or huh? Yeah. Well, but uh, with the uh, old PC ports and uh, controller support, the uh, the the uh, directional movement is always mapped to uh, what uh, what's now actually uh, now actually detected as the uh, analog stick. My inner child is coming out, and it hurts. All right, welcome uh, to New Toon World, where all this is probably going to be a reference to, I'm guessing, huh. well, just cartoons in general, some Looney Tunes, and God knows what else. Either way, be very uh, afraid. Be very okay. afraid. That's weird. Okay, I guess I misremembered. The PC version runs at 30. The PC run I version think. runs at 30 frames per second? Well, either that or my monitor is just... It's just not displaying it correctly because it's a 240Hz monitor. It might actually display it correctly if I uh, set the refresh rate to... Uh, 60, and then play it. Well, uh, that is a poorly named level. Twin Towers. Hey, look, well, this game was made in, back in the 90s, so... Yeah, so... That, that's back when 9-11 didn't happen yet, so... 
Yeah. I will give him on that. Oh, okay. Because other, uh, otherwise, in that sense, Spider-Man 2 has also been a be aged badly. I mean, around the time Video that gaming. I think this came out, was it 93 this game came out? Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah. Also, look out for exclamation marks, because anv anvils will fall on you. The music in this game isn't that bad. I will say that. Honestly, Shit. The game's frame rate is about as smooth as Sonic 3. It seems to be about as smooth as uh, Sonic 3D like the, uh, Blast on PC, like a PC version of Sonic 3D Blast. Yeah, it's very super smooth on Sega Saturn and the PS1. Yeah, but on PC, for some reason, 3D Blast has... Well, it runs at 60, apparently, but... I think the frame pacing is kind of bad, causing it to look a bit choppy. I remember the the main gameplay actually running just fine at 60 frames per second. Oh, shit. Uh, but the special stages didn't run at a solid 60. They seemed more choppier. Oh, the... Uh... PC uh, version of Sonic 3D Blast special stages? Uh, well, Frankenstein comes to mind. Ah, uh, crap. As in, they're as easy as the Sega Mega Drive version, but but they're the health type. Which is why and I not, will and always... And they're nowhere near as fun. Which is why I will always stick with the Saturn version. Shit. The PC version also um, is missing a few effects from the Saturn version, but uh, the level, uh, the level uh, sprites and uh, visuals also uh, are from the Saturn version. Mm -hmm. As well as the soundtrack, so there's no MIDI. Yeah, that's very welcomed. I used to own the PC version, and back when I couldn't get a Sega Sa my Sega Saturn running. Yeah. I will say uh, say this though because I ha feel like I'm uh, beating a dead horse with uh, is saying this uh, as often as I do. MIDI on its own is not necessarily bad. MIDI can sound good. The problem is that, well, Microsoft GS Wavetable sucks. Yeah, and around the time that when when did the Gex port come out uh, for PC? Uh, I don't know if I remember. Maybe 95, 96. Well, around that time, it, you also no, had No, it's probably after 97 or 97 or after, or 96, yeah. I think it was 95 or 96, because it was definitely, because it was designed for Windows 95. Well... Which, which came out in 1995, of course. Uh, doesn't mean around that era you had to deal with uh, shitty FM synthesis. Well, it's not. wasn't always. It wasn't always shitty. Well, like yeah, I mean, in terms of, cap in terms of capabilities, uh, the OPL two and OPL three actually are actually able to uh, make uh, sounds very similar to the Sega Mega Drive if used correctly. Yeah, true. The keyword. The keyword is if used correctly, because a lot of games didn't do that. What? What? What did I just get? I have no idea what I just got. Why am I glowing? Like, for example, if Sega actually tried with the PC port of uh, Sonic 3 & Knuckles, the uh, OPL3 would sound very similar to... Uh, would have sounded very similar to the... Uh, uh, to the uh, Sega Mega Drive original then. Uh. But that's not the case because they didn't bother trying. For 12 years of full house. <laughs> 12 years of full house? That's how long it ran? I'm so hungry, I could oh my god, the tornado sound effect, uh, shield, this tornado shield sound effect uh, you uh, can get in this, is, uh, uh, get in this game is obnoxiously loud in the PC port for Gex. Well, it's also obnoxiously loud here, so. That's it. That's a spot. So the power up I just got was high jump, apparently. Okay. That's welcome. Shit.
I never understood what where the Geronimo line uh, was originated from because I heard it in the old 80s and 70s cartoons uh, a lot of the time I'm back then and even back then I don't didn't understand the reference uh, maybe... what Geronimo mean uh, it's something when they fall say... it's huh? something it's something you say if you're like uh, s swinging on a rope or something like that. Or when falling down on very long distances of uh, air. Yeah, or if you're making a jump. It's used in this old, in uh, one of the old Looney Tunes called Porky Pig's Feet, where they're trying to get out of paying money for money renting a hotel room. On Valentine's Day. Orally inspired by the film Geronimo from 1939, U.S. Army paratroopers testing the practice of parachuting from planes began a tradition of shouting Geronimo to show they had no fear of jumping out of an airplane. Oh, okay. Other Native American-based traditions were also adopted in World War II, such as mohawk haircut, face paint, and sporting spears on their unit patches. Well, that's pretty bad. So basically, Geronimo was the 70s or 60s uh, version of uh, YOLO. More accurately, Geronimo is the name of a Native American, a prominent Native American leader from, 19, from 1829 to 1909, and medicine man of the Bidonko band of Apache people. Basically, he was a very in, he was a very important person, and then a movie was made off of him. And from the looks of it, there was a life lived, and a horrible one of that. It kind of it kind of sounds pretty bad when they use that n name a lot in some movies. Well, it's not meant as an insult; it's meant as essentially praise because he was a noble person. Ah. I see. Also, there's a Superman lizard. Ooh. I'm invincible. Oh, this. Okay. Did you RTX was just such a lifesaver in uh, when the, the typing and uh, while being in a voice call? Yeah. Because you're not hearing me typing. That's what I, call getting I think. Are you sure Nvidia RTX filters that out correctly? Hmm. Oh yeah, no. Geronimo is quite literally Here's just a reference time. to a movie named Geronimo. 1939. Okay, so... An American legend. Is this one? No, this is a 93 movie about Geronimo. Oh, I think that's where I first heard of it. Uh, the word, the word, or rather, the, the name. Then why did they, uh, they use that... Uh... Did they yell Geronimo when falling down when, in Looney Tunes when uh, falling at large distances of uh, space? Uh, it. Uh, Daffy Duck said it when he was trying to s escape a hotel owner uh, with Porky Pig. Trying That's to get out of yeah. They were just referencing the paratroopers' habit of yelling it to show they had no fear. Yeah, basically that. That's pretty much what Geronimo amounts to as slang, is I don't give a shit. I'm not afraid of this, I'll do it. YOLO. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's basically what's in it now, where people, uh, where, when pe it's basically uh, the same as people saying YOLO nowadays, then. Yeah. That is indeed what we just said. Yeah, or if, or if you're Gabe Newell, ju just leaping, leaping off of the light fixture. There's an elbowing, I guess, Mr. Satan or something like that. 
VG video game championship wrestling thing. What? I don't want to watch wrestling. I mean, this is something that happened in a couple years what? back what? on Twitch. Hey. Mm. Someone used WWE uh, 13, a really crappy wrestling game, used re custom wrestlers that vaguely resemble video game or anime characters. In including the video game angry video game nerd and uh, Shinya already know from Game Center CX and basically have them wrestle each other and this also included Vegeta and Nappa from Dragon Ball Z it, it was the dumbest thing ever the, and also the greatest thing ever and something we'll probably never see again. <laughs> Unless you want to make your own custom wrestlers in another game, because... 2K makes shitty wrestling games. Uh, maybe once the Soul Calibur gets another game, then... I remember Soul Calibur having uh, quite a... Uh, expansive uh, character uh, customization tool. Yeah. Or something. The only thing that I wanted out, out of a 2K wrestling game was the ability to make your own cus custom s uh, story scenes and just do a bunch of stupid shit. Hmm. You know, uh, you know what, what I find weird though, uh, with uh, Gex and uh, Gog? Yeah. Well, the first Gex game is on Gog, but not the second game. The second game does have a PC port, but it's not on GOG, but the first game is. Huh. Guess they could never get the second game running properly. I don't think it's What the that. ow? It might be rights issues. Let me check. Ow. Why did I jump? If this were oh. a plane crash, I could eat the other passengers. I think I see button. If this were a plane crash, I could eat the other passengers. Wow. Yeah, you can actually... Uh, apparently you can just make it so... Uh, make Gex uh, enter the Gecko work on P uh, the PC version just work fine if you choose Hang Glide. Mm. Or, or the unofficial 3D effects with the director D patch. Geronimo! But Anglide it seems to be more reliable as Anglide is just it's just way better. Yeah, I have the VHS. Yeah, then it's that, that and apparently the unofficial directory patch uh, makes it run set. Twenty four FPS instead of thirty FPS. Ah. Uh, I have So yeah, Anglide is recommended. I have the and VHS tape, I just need There's the remote. Thank you. So, when it comes to making it work on modern systems, there's not really anything to stop it. Oh, yeah. No, I think... I think... Uh... Hmm. Okay, that's odd.